Hello everyone. Uh, let me just set the phone here. Just for Facebook right there. And you can see, yes, you can see everything. Hello everyone. Let me just move this Facebook. Okay. There you go. Okay, let's see. The whole picture. Just move just a little back for okay, there you go. Okay, hello everyone. How are you today? This Wednesday evening, five o'clock. Welcome to the Redesign with Prima Instagram page and Redesign with Prima Facebook group page. Uh, hope everybody is enjoying this day. My name is Vilma. Um, I'm a furniture artist and owner at Renovel Sansu Renovel, located in Ontario, Canada. Uh, I also am brand ambassador for this time with Prima, and I'm happy to be here with you, everybody. Okay, so let me wear my glasses because I don't see anything without them. I can see, I cannot read. So, thank you for being here. Thank you. Hi, Sylvia. Hello. Hi, Alma. Oh, hi, everyone. Temus Karum. Clear plague. So, just let me know where you come from. If I can catch, hello. If I, hello Luna, hey, I can catch your comments right there, right now. It will be awesome. If not, if you have some comments, just please see, say hi. Hi, hi, hi James, hi Emma. And I'll be back with you when I finish. Okay, so today we have a toe dresser. You know what? I have like almost two years with this piece that I was uh, waiting for the exact, I don't know what, it was a transfer or the coupage paper, I don't know, but I was waiting for something special and I have it. So today we're gonna use our A1 decoupage rice paper. Uh, this one is named Harmony. It's a beautiful lady. So I've been seeing a lot of uh, ladies using this one. This is my first one. So uh, the reason I have this masking tape around this is because I will using an adhesive spray. So because this piece is not painted already, I don't want to... Uh, get any residues of my adhesive uh, before I paint it. So that's why I just uh, cover these sides. So hopefully it will be safe. So let's begin. This is a chalky spray. I love this one. It's, because I love it, it's, well, it's, a, it's a, a great product, but I can find it anywhere. So if I go to Walmart, I can find it right there in any, any craft store. Uh, so that's easy for me. And it works awesome for my stencil, for my decoupage paper. So I'm not in your way. I'm going to make sure. No. So Facebook, you can see it. Yes. Alma, did you can see it? Great. So I can. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I will start by... Uh, spray my adhesive we're gonna do it in parts we're gonna start with this uh, I can make you can make I okay so it's gonna be easy if for me it was easy to take out the drawers put it on my floor just at, uh, put it aside put it together and then I use my adhesive or anything any any coat coat uh, to uh, apply my, my deco base, but uh, you know, I love difficult, difficult things. So let's show a start. And I'm just going to add first here in this. Okay, and let's see. So this has some curve here, so I'm gonna try to just 
market. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's just a little difficult right now. Nothing that I cannot do. Okay. So. Let me see. Let me see. I should have caught it first. Okay. It's okay. Okay. So this is the easy way that I found to add my decoupage rice paper or your decoupage paper. So I'm going to use my exacto knife just to see you have you you can see it right here. There is a curb edge that I need to cut right here so I can just continue to work on my decoupage paper. Okay, okay, so a little tricky here, just a little tricky, but not impossible. Okay, so I think I missed just a little part of here, but I'm not worried about it because I'm going to use another uh, another colors of paints over my decoupage to pair my my piece of wood, uh, my piece of my other sides uh, and uh, on the front. So I think I have it right here. So I'm going to cut this part also. I'm not trying to, okay, so this one, there we go, and the last one, here, so I miss one part here, one little part here, big Okay, there you go. Okay, so we have it right here. And go here. So I'm going to spray once again. And I go from the middle to the sides just to avoid any mark here. And in a moment, no, oh, I had I found this one. I bought this one on um um michael uh this uh is from decoupage uh from much posh i think so so they say it is for this is the first time i'm using this mm. and it works yes and it came with a little pad but you know me i can find it I lost everything. I lost everything always. <laughs> hey, oh, this is working. It's a lot of noise, but it's working. Okay, I think we need just a little more here of my spray. Okay. 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 
now I have a little here so I'm gonna try to go with this to raise the mark where the deco paste was folding in the package it works yeah yeah because it's not the same pressure with just your hands this is working nicely you so you know what here i'm going to take out this because i don't want to be difficult take part this one okay now that i have my my uh adhesive apply it so let me take out this just for this size. I think I'm not uh, embedding this size. So here I see everything is fine. And I have another another mark here where is my, my where my decoupage was falling. So I'm gonna go with this. Pushing hard. Okay, now I have to go here with my knife first. Okay, let me go with my knife here. Let me just sit here. To be on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna try to mark with my finger the curve of the mold. That will be easy for me to cut it out. Okay, and now I'm going to take out this also. here I just got one side I'm going to mark it with my finger the other side of the curve okay. I will go with my knife so you can find this knife this exacto knife at uh, Prima Marketing uh, these are awesome so I discovered that here Okay, I know, I knew it, that uh, here we can have a lot, another new knife, but every knife is different. So I didn't saw that, I thought it was the same ones. So there's are different of, uh, shapes. Okay, let me just cut it from here. Here. and I'm going to mark it right here also and got it so I'm not worried because I'm going to paint here this side these sides of the decoupage so if I'm taking a lot of a lot of decoupage with my knife is it's okay. It's okay. Nothing that pain can repair. So it's already here. So I think Facebook is watching. Yes. Let's move you just a little bit here. Right back here. And here. Now, I 
little mark here. And I just eraser right now. Eraser. And now I'm going to cut right here. Let me remove this and mark with my finger. Good. It's a little tricky, the curves. Little, little tricky. Okay. Okay, there you go. So, it's nicely just here, we have some bubbles here, so I saw the other day someone using a drink, uh, with some glue. Uh, for the bubbles. Okay. Now, let's go and cut just the divider of the easy piece. Oh. I don't have so much space here. There you go. So when I have this, I will be adding some, uh, some top coat here, much but much but, but I'm not gonna do it right now because I will be uh, painting the side, so I don't need any top coat. I can use it here, but not on my sides. Okay, here you go. Here, let's go on this side. Let's just be careful when you're doing this. Try not to um to peel out peel out your your decoupage paper is okay. Just take your time. So you find they are uh, difficult in the because the rice paper has some uh, fibers on it. I think we're good. So that's in some parts is uh, is more difficult to get to go with your with your knife or with your exacto. So let me have this and show you. Oh, I can find the where is my. Where is it? Okay. Okay. Thank 
here and here. Oh, wow. It's not open it because the tape, my God. <laughs> Are you, you're asking you know, how he's gonna open the doors, Vilmas? There are stick tape all around the drawers. Ah. Okay, let me take, take out these ones. So, we do have any adhesive resin right on the sides. They are ready to paint. But now we're not going to paint it today. Today we're going to do some stamps that I want to uh, attach to my, my one of my drawers. And then uh, I will show you some of our art alchemy waxes and the difference uh, of your, uh, of the colors that you can achieve with the same with the same color shape, if that makes sense, with the same color shape of shape of your of your uh, wax, but in a different uh, color of your piece. So I will try it with a different with different molds, so you can see the the difference. So it needs some. To, to glue some there, I can go with my with my spray, a Kessie spray, or with my top coat or any clear coat. But as I I mentioned it, I am going to paint this all around, and because I don't want my piece uh, not so many blues, uh, so I go go with my with some uh, browns and blacks and and some more. Uh, like uh, beige tones uh, to feel to 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 pair my other uh, uh, sides of the of my dresser. So this is what it is. Now I can open it. Where is it? Okay, there you go. Okay, now let's do the the stamping going to be cast I think I think I'm going to I, I can do it I can do it here yes I can do it here you can see it right there yes yeah you can see it okay uh, I will use in this uh, royal florist uh, these are new this has some grit right here to help you to follow follow your uh, your lines or your patterns. Uh, today I will be using these two. This came in for these are awesome. I love this so much. I'm gonna use these two and. This is how it's going to do. Okay, let me just move you just down, just a little down to the floor. Just a little, little, little down to see. There you go. You can see the drawer, the first drawer. I will be uh, doing letting uh, natural. So I just add some, I uh, sand it off and I just... Um, um putting some uh oil um hemp oil and then some um sfo stain fusion oil in uh i think it was uh it was cappuccino espresso i think cappuccino okay so you can see it let me see let me view yes there you go you can see it right there and instagram yes Okay, so this is the color that I want to show you in a few. 
I just do some waxes and then some of the new metallic tints to achieve this color. And it smells so, so good. <laughs> so this is going to be in the middle here. And these scrolls are going to be right there. Okay, so I don't remember if it's like this or like this. I think like this, yes. Okay, so for this, I will be using my roller brush, yay. With my acrylic plate, and I will be using brush champagne from the new metallic tins, and I adore these ones. I love it so much. Hi, Hilda. Hi, Isa. Hi, Casa. Linda, what did you use to spray? Oh, I use this. Uh, let me show you. Where is the, the, the top? Okay, the top is, is purple. So you can. Oh, there you go. I use this taffy spray. Someone is asking about that. Uh, yes, Linda is asking. Uh, this is a tacky spray. This is decoupage paper. Yes, this is the the uh, A1 decoupage rice paper from Redesign with Prima. These are awesome. I love it so much. Uh, these ones came in a particular like uh, um, art uh, canvas uh, with uh, personalities. I love this one. This one is called Harmony. So this is the one that I use. Uh, this is a tacky spray. This is from Aline's. You can find it on Walmart, on any craft store, on Michael's. Uh, I don't know what else. I think in Home Depot doesn't have, but you can, you can also have, uh, I have another one, Elmer's glue. You can use it. You can find it on Walmart also. Uh, so what did you use to spray? Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is like a uh, champagne uh, gold, but the name is Bruch Champagne. Yes, Bruch Champagne. So I'm going to just add a little bit here on my acrylic. There you go. And Just make sure that your roller brush is already is uh, okay. hmm. so these are from redesign with Prima also these rollers uh, roller brush um, you can find it uh, it came with uh, four uh, pads and the uh, and acrylic. So, okay. So the reason that I want to take out this rubber is because I wanted to see where exactly I'm going to place this, but You know what? We are so smart because we are women, so we're smart. Uh, and let's see. Oops. I'm going to put it like right here. That will be easier if I take out my drawer, put it on the floor. But I need to move all you with my camera's phones and it's, oh, it's all the problem. So, there you go. Okay, I hope this look as I 
was expecting. Yeah, there you go. This is going to be right here. See? Okay, let's do the other one, the other side. I think I need with more. Let me just throw some more of my metallics. I think I'm gonna go back with the first one. Okay, so what are you doing? Where did you come from? Where are you watching? Is it day? Is it night? Wait, here in, in Canada, in Ontario, there are three o'clock and they're all saying, good night. I say, oh my gosh. Okay, so. I'm going to, oh, this is not the same one. It's the other one. Oh, Vilma. Thank God. I saw it. Okay, so where are my whips? My whips? Okay. Wrong, wrong, wrong. This is the one. See so alike. So let me see. Let me sit with this. The middle. Okay, drop here. And here. There you go. I think this is the this is the place. So these are these metallics are awesome to work with your uh, with your decor stamps. I love it. Chalk paste. I love the chalk paste also. Working with with stamps, paint, ink. Depending on your, you see. I think I need. I'm missing uh here something. So, where is, okay, let me just give me a minute, a second, a second, not a minute, I have found um, my wigs, oh, I have it right here, I see it, let me just clean this one, so, uh, I found this easier, just to clean it up, and then you, uh, wash it gently but this this way uh, you prevent the, your paint your juicing or your ink uh, is not a stick at the time you're going to you're going to clean it not at all stick but it's the easy way so just any wipe and now I think I'm gonna go back with the first one here. Okay, let's do it. And let's clean the other one also. This one, we're not gonna use it. So you see, it's easier if you clean it. And then you, at the final of your work, you go and watch it gently. I use a sponge, a lightly sponge, or a, an old brush tip. My husband's. Just kidding. Uh, just, just make sure the brush is, is not too hard. It's gently, be gently with that. And I use only my my cans up. That works for me. In a not cold, not hot, just a warm water. To clean it okay now let's try so I think I miss spot here and let's do it no 
bit. Okay, I'm gonna go to the floor and just to make sure I'm doing in the same spots. So I'm not going to repeat this. I'm gonna try to go just on the parts that I miss that will be easier for me. That we need some pain in there. So like this here. I need more paint. I need more, more paint. Just a little more. Just, just a little more. Here. It's this pad, this other, and this other. Okay. Here we go again. Okay. It's just a little tricky. Okay, now here, there you go, and the bottom, oh, the bottom, that's gonna be, oh, okay, I wanna, let me think here. There you go. Okay, now this one. Oh, it's right there. Oh, finally. Okay, I think I have more paint here. I'm gonna go with my, yes. You see? I rest this up, uh, this part already. Okay, let me just stand up and so this mold is gonna be here right here in the center you see but uh i'm not going to paste it right now i'm going to show you just a little quick the difference between your waxes because uh you you need uh you need to know you need to know it sounds real okay so the difference uh between the base your base color uh when you add in your waxes so you're gonna achieve different colors that that will be that will be depending on your base color so i think you can do from here uh you can see it right here yes yes i think so okay I'm gonna bring here the molds that I have here and I'm going to show you some of the difference. So this one's is gonna be like the other ones. I'm gonna put it right here on the first, but I'm gonna lay it right there. So this one also is gonna be here and okay i have this is a brown a brown um paint it's almost like a like a black this is a black one this is uh it's albuquin it's like uh in, in brown beige this is a blue one this is a natural custom resin in white this is a clear resin this one i use it uh when I'm not in a hurry for my casting to be ready, right? Uh, if I'm going to need it to the next day, I just put it in my molds one night and the other night uh, and uh, the morning, they're ready to, to take out. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your love. Share the love, please. And please share, share. So uh, this is uh, like a crystal, it's just, and this is painted with white. And this is not gonna be here. Okay, we don't need it here. Let's see. And I'm going to bring down here the waxes. So, redesign with Prima. Uh, 
makeup post about these Art Archemy uh, waxes. If you don't have one of these, you're missing all the fun. These are very, very, very perceptibles. Perceptibles. Uh, versatiles. I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, that word in English. So, uh, I'm going to use, this is Opal Magic. This is Vintage Silk, but I wanna show you, I want to share with you the difference uh, shapes that you're going to achieve uh, in, a, in your different uh, base colors that you have with the same, same, same one. So I'm just adding just a few. I can use my finger but I'm not gonna use it right now. And it smells, it smells so, so beautiful. So yummy, 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 yummy. So this is the brown, almost dark. You see the color? Okay, let me show you. Instagram, here you go, and Facebook. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit right here. Now, same color. In a, like a brown beige color. This is, if you know Fusion Mineral Paint, this is Algo King. So you're gonna have another different shade of the same wax. Okay, you see the difference? Okay, now let's do with black. For me in particular, I like I like to add my, my waxes in on a dark a base. Where well, it depending on your on the look you want to achieve, but for me I like better. I prefer this. So this one is just looking likely like this. This is some black. This is on the brown. Now Let's do it on the blue one. Blue one. So you're gonna have a different, different, different shape here with this blue one. Okay. You see? you have a lot of light Instagram maybe I should let me let me just down the light just a little bit or take out the light okay so Instagram and Facebook so you can see the blue that is uh, under and now let's do it on the just natural color of the casting resin in white so this is opal magic these are for archemy so just a little bit transference but i want to show you the different uh because maybe you see this color in a in a, in a black and you and you go went to your house or you just use it and you said oh it's not the same color that i saw that i wanted so this is black, same one, and this is in white. Okay, white and black. Same, a lot of difference, right? Now, with the crystal, the transparent. Same wax. Here you go. This is totally needs a paint. Totally needs a paint. You see? 
you can see all the transparent of the and finally white with white paint it will be like almost the same as the casting resin in white almost the same because uh we because uh, the casting resin is porous, so the paint, you're going to see the difference. The paint make it to be different. So this is with paint. Here you go. Paint. And just the clear, the white resin in natural. So these are the difference and... Finally, I will make the color, the same color of my mold. Where is it? I don't know. Okay, I'm using the same one, Opal. This is um, vintage silk, vintage silk. So I painted with my, these ones I'm going to attach to my, my dresser that I have it on my back that I'm working in, or working with. Uh, so, I painted in a brown, black, I mix brown, brown with, black, with black paint. And then I use vintage gold. Vintage gold. And I just, go in some some spots here and then i use these are the same now it came in this in this uh in these uh tubes but is these are i have it already so this is white gold i just going to add some white gold here okay and so let me explain you because these are waxes you need to wait until it dries to if you want some uh, acrylic paint like I did so I I let dry I let it dry about uh, a half a day and then I back and I put some of my uh, metallic acrylic I just uh, polished bronze this is like a bronze on some pink uh, shades and then I finally add my brush champ brush champagne the one I use on my stamps uh, but now we're gonna be brave and we are going to just add some and just let it dry and then I will seal it with some uh, some sealer spray so I just take a few amounts of my color this is the um, polished bronze and I'm just going to go, you're going to see the difference. Just to bring some shade, some bright, some light. Okay, this is the one and i finally used my brush shit champagne and i used the other side of my brush so this way i achieve the same color of my of this mold I think 
think I need more more brown just like this and now I have this one so these are the difference between the I will be adding this the difference between your uh, your waxes uh, that all depending on your base color that you have in your molds is the color that you are going to to achieve if you want a bright color I suggest you that you can you use a, a dark base color and your on your molds and then you add your your our alchemy uh, waxes these are awesome uh, these are the same ones uh, but now this came in these tubes but these are the same ones and I love it love it love it so just you just need a little little a little bit long a little bit goes long okay so this is it today we will work with our a1 decoupage I use my uh, these are uh, a1 decoupage rice paper from redesign with prima the name of this was is harmony harmony yeah harmony I use tacky spray from Alliance to attach it to my furniture to my dresser and I also use these uh, beautiful scrolls that are from my decor stamps and these decor stamps are uh, where are them oh there it is royal florist these are new these are new Look, royal florist it came in four four scrolls and uh that's it then these molds are uh this one is kingsbury medallion let me take off kingsbury medallion this one and i will be using some of these baroque squirrels these ones i'm gonna paint it and uh, that's it oh and this one the ashen find is the one i i just uh painted it came one of these so uh, this one is the one that i use so thank you for being here hope i can see you next wednesday at five o'clock here at redesign with prima you just go right down to facebook you can, you can see me if you have any question just pop it in your comments and i will see you and review all the comments uh thank you for being here uh, and be good be safe bye bye